Imagine a dark room filled with shelves of unsolved cases that may not have been looked at in years. Now imagine taking those cases off the shelf and bringing them into the light. The goal of this channel is to shed some new light on those dark cold cases on a state-by-state -state basis. Thus, welcome to Dark Cold State. Today's missing person cold cases are from the state of Washington. Our first missing person cold case is Logan Drew Skiendelman. Logan's last contact date was May 19, 2016 and is listed as missing from Tumwater, Washington. Logan is a black or African American male and at the time of his disappearance was 19 years old. His height was 6 feet 0 inches and he weighed approximately 170 to 190 pounds. Logan has black hair and brown eyes and has the distinctive physical feature of a small scar on his left forearm below his elbow. The circumstances of Logan's disappearance are suspicious. Logan was last known to be at his home in Tumwater, Washington on May 18, 2016. The next day, his car, a black 1996 Chrysler Sebring with Washington license plate AVJ8434, was found on southbound Interstate 5, approximately 20 miles south of his residence against the center median barrier. Later, Logan's cell phone, ID, debit card, cash, car keys, and wallet were all found inside the car. After Logan was reported missing, many witnesses came forward regarding seeing his car on Interstate 5. One witness reports Logan was standing at the rear of the car with two white males when she passed the car that morning. Other witnesses reported that Logan's car crossed all lanes of traffic with no one at the wheel and the car crashed into the median where a white male then exited the vehicle on the passenger side and ran into the woods. Logan was last seen wearing a black windbreaker, jeans, a white t-shirt, and wearing tennis shoes that were possibly Nike brand. At the time of this video, Logan would be 26 years old and his physical appearance may differ due to the time that has passed between his disappearance and this video. If you have any information on the disappearance of Logan Drew Skiendelman or any information on his current whereabouts, please contact the Thurston County Sheriff's Office at 360-786-5500 and reference case number 16-2709 or MP34124. Our next missing person cold case is Kalita Sade White. Kalita's last contact date is August 22, 2006, and is listed as missing from Auburn, Washington. Kalita is a black or African American female and at the time of her disappearance was 18 years old. Kalita has black hair and brown eyes and at the time of her disappearance she had red tips in her hair. Her height was 5 feet 1 inches and she weighed approximately 83 pounds. Kalita has the distinctive physical features of having both her ears and her nose pierced and she also has birthmarks on her back and abdomen. Kalita was last seen on the afternoon of August 22, 2006 on Metro Bus number 128. It is believed she was headed to her boyfriend's residence in Tukwila, Washington. Kalita was last seen wearing a yellow Adidas jacket, blue jeans, yellow sneakers or boots, and earrings. 
At the time of this video, Kalita's age would be 35 years old and her physical appearance may differ due to the time that has passed between her disappearance and this video. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of Kalita Sade White or information related to her disappearance, please contact the Auburn Police Department at 253-931-3080 and reference case number 06-10671. Or the Washington State Police Missing Persons Unit at 1 800 543 5678. Our last missing person cold case for this week is Edith Margaret Claver. Many sources list Edith's last contact date as November 27, 2009. Please note, however, that the Washington State Patrol Missing Persons poster has her missing since December 25, 2009. Edith is originally from British Columbia, Canada and resided in Des Moines, Washington at the time of her disappearance. However, she is listed as missing from Renton, Washington. Edith is an American Indian female and at the time of her disappearance was 47 years old. Edith has black hair and brown eyes and her height is 5 feet 4 inches and she weighs approximately 150 pounds. Edith has the distinctive physical features of a burn scar on her right forearm, a scar on her left eyebrow, and scars on the lower portions of her legs. The circumstances of Edith's disappearance are unknown. Witnesses saw Edith on November 27, 2009 as she left the Ukrainian Christian Center in the 200 block of Hardy Avenue Northwest in Renton, Washington. The following day, a church employee found Edith's wallet, ID card, and a small amount of cash neatly stacked near a dumpster on the north side of the church. Edith was last seen wearing a blue fleece pullover shirt or jacket, blue jeans, tennis shoes, and a gold ring with the word love. It is unknown at this time if Edith is a victim of foul play or if she left the area voluntarily. Edith has not been seen or heard from since that day. At the time of this video, Edith's age would be 60 years old and her physical appearance may differ due to the time that has passed between her disappearance and this video. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of Edith Margaret Claver or information related to her disappearance, please contact the Renton Police Department at 425-430-7522 or the Washington State Patrol Missing Persons Unit at 1-800-543-5678. Please do not make contact if you see a missing person. The best thing to do is call your local emergency number or, if applicable, one of the numbers in this video. There are also many unidentified remains found in each state. If you have not already done so, please consider getting DNA testing completed where the DNA results are shared with law enforcement so that the possibility of identifying any unknown remains is increased. The goal of this channel is to provide attention to these cold cases. If you like the videos on this channel, please click the like button, share the video with others, comment below, and subscribe to the channel so that these videos are seen by as many people as possible. Appropriate update videos will be provided if needed.
If you have a cold case or a missing person cold case that you would like to see featured on this channel, please suggest in the comments below or email me the information.